to me, delivering water to the camp is one of the most important things that we can do to the people in the camp in this really acute phase of the emergency. This young girl of six months old has been having acute watery diarrhoea, which is the biggest single complaint that we've seen at the moment in the camp. It's what kills, and, and what happens when you get a lot of people living in a space like this who are not having good enough sanitation and good access to enough water, you often get uh, a big increase in acute watery diarrhoea. If they're not getting any water to, to start off, uh, we're just going to be have all of our health facilities filled in with uh, dehydrated people. Uh, so at least making sure they have at least basic access to water can prevent so many of the other uh, diseases and sicknesses and uh, issues that we have to see in our, uh, in our clinics. So from the uh, river pumping station, we run through uh, three inch hoses up to our main sedimentation area up on the main pad here for the plant. Those feed into the nine tanks in the final setup there where all the sedimentation and chlorination is, uh, is happening. So now that we've started filling the tank with raw water from the river, our uh, water treatment teams have dosed the water with chlorine and are now slowly adding the aluminum sulfate. So here is one of our 30,000 litre frame tanks. We position our filling pipes with the raw water from the river uh, at an angle so we can get sort of a spiral effect uh, with the water so that all that dirt and the aluminum sulfate start to collect in the middle of the tank. The aluminum sulfate binds with the dirt and other particles in the water, which starts to make them heavier than the water and collect down in the bottom of the tank so that our, our pumps that are filling trucks can take all the good clean water in the middle of the tank and towards the sides. We can see that she's really, really thirsty, which shows a sign that she's already mildly dehydrated. We just need to encourage the mum to give as much oral fluids as possible. 